second successive season, the Grand Prix arrived at the Friends Arena in Stockholm. A magnificent venue, two years old, great facilities for the fans. All the question marks were over Greg Hancock, the series leader, and how his injured hand would hold up under these conditions. Ty Woffenden and Christoph Kasperzak, also in the top three, have seen their campaigns disrupted by injury at one time or another. The Friends Arena surface, a temporary track surface, was very smooth and produced some good racing. Right from the start, the track surface and the shape of the track clearly suited some, and there was some fast action out there. Kasperzak made a dream start. Two straight wins, laid a marker down and put pressure on his rivals. Hancock, the series leader, opened up with a last place. There were concerns in the Hancock camp, but he bounced back in some style. He got his gating gloves on and qualified for the semi-finals as well. Could Hancock win in Sweden for the first time in his glittering career on his return to the GP stage? Kasperzak marched on. Ty Wuffenham battled away as well, but a last place proved costly, and he was under pressure for a place in the semi-finals. But as the meeting progressed, the subplot was about the top eight as well. Freddie Lindgren doing well, but Yarek Hampel in the mix, scoring points big time, and he rocketed himself back into contention for the top eight. Great respect from Wuffenden and Hancock once again, the two title rivals 20 years apart, but loving their speedway as much as ever. Hancock continued through to the semi-finals and made it all the way through to the grand final as well. The action was fast and furious, with riders making the occasional mistake to add to the entertainment value. Hancock could only watch on as his rivals dropped points. And the result means that Greg Hancock has got one hand on the World Championship trophy. But there was no way of stopping this man, Poland's Jara Kampel, who scored a 21-point maximum and put himself in the top eight and a chance to progress through to the series for next year in his own right as a qualifier. Congratulations, Hampel, but Hancock almost there.